All right, coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. If you talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot speed for the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing, to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So in this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Now our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, here now the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Vienna, Austria, Alexander Rakic! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 18 wins, one loss, and a Mongerman and Goliath! And with the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think they're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh! Massive kick to the head. Rock'em, sock him out of the shoot here. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Big head kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. That one stuck in. Nice. Right. And just misses with that big right hand. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. 
Good punch. Big body kick land. Oh, that's a good right hand. He's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. All right, he engages in a single collar tie. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. What a punch. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Right hand landed. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Big punch lands through the middle. Clipped him with the right hand there. Missed with that attempt. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Just missed with the elbow there. Look at the commitment to kick. He loaded up there on that high kick. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Trying to double up on that jab. Still nice body kick land. Punch over the top. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. And he oh. comes through with a big knee. Fifteen seconds to go. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Round two is next. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this he round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. What a punch. Right hand upstairs. Focus, focus. Nice, sneaky head kick. That's a big strike right there. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Hey, keep moving. Hey, take that shot. Take the shot. 
Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Nice punch lands over the top. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Just misses there with the left. Hook attempt, that's a miss. Just unable to quite find that range. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. with that one. Beautiful body kick. Nice loop and punch. Straight right, he misses. Nice body kick. Oh, damage done. Bleeding from his cheek now. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this And fight. now he lands a combination. Thirty seconds to go in round two. Vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, these man. Got to check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Get you, get you, get you. Real sneak body kick. Beautiful strike. All right, round three coming up next. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys going to kick and sink at each other. But you did see time when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice straight punch. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. Straight right hand, no good.
He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big kick lands. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Big head kick lands. Punches and punches, punches and punches, let's go. Blocks that strike. Do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, massive kick to the body. Good right here. Head kick. What a body kick. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. Beautiful body kick. Some nice back and forth action here. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Lands flush with the left hand. All right, single collar tie now. Just misses with a left hook there. Well, he has really started much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Good stick. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He blocks the punch. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Nice strike. Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Just misses with the right. Nice right hand. Beautiful punch. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Big head kick lands. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Ooh, what a punch. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. The official decision Ladies is in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. The judges score cards for decision. All three judges score this contest for 928. For the winner by unanimous decision, Alexander Rodin. Well, he did not.
get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him at our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you control, and that's fight to the best of your ability. He did exactly